Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Antifungal and antibiotic drugs are two drugs that are commonly used in hospital globally. One of the important issues across the world that related to these two drugs is the ineffectiveness of these two drugs during treatment of infection, which can cause fatal, or in medical term, we call it as mortality. Ineffectiveness was also documented to cause mobility or complication. And one of the factors that contribute to the ineffectiveness is due to the development of resistance of these two drugs. An exposure of a very minute amount of concentrations of antifungal and antibiotic drugs to the environment, including to human, animal and plants, may lead to the development of resistance. Therefore, in this study, I have developed micro-extraction techniques that are able to detect and monitor the presence of the two drugs in the environment at a very minute concentration levels. Current standard techniques such as solid phase extraction and liquid-liquid extractions are able to detect these two drugs in the environment. However, these techniques consume a large amount of toxic organic solvent. They are costly, tedious and also involve time-consuming steps. Therefore, to solve this problem and to improve the current standard techniques, I have developed a new micro-extraction techniques that are simple, green, environmentally friendly and also efficient. Why I'm saying this is because these techniques require only a little amount of organic solvent and chemicals and also involve a simple step of extraction. In addition, these techniques have been applied to the real analysis of real samples and prove to provide a higher and better efficiency and sensitivity of the detected antifungal and antibiotic drugs in the environment. The two developed techniques, namely dispersive micro solid phase extraction and solid phase membrane tip extraction incorporated with mesoporous material are advantageous in terms of providing faster extraction time, low cost, low chemical and solvent consumption and also efficient with the performances that are superior to those of conventional commercial techniques. Therefore, I hope that these techniques will be established as an alternative sample preparation for antifungal and antibiotic drugs to prevent the development of resistance in the future. Thank you very much.